Hi, this is Ethan here from MyDrawingTutorials.com and in this perspective lesson I want to walk through a number of different uh, perspective principles and methods that you can use to uh, create an illusion of depth in your drawing. So each one of these methods are very simple and easy to apply and once you know what they are you can begin to incorporate them into your work to make them look more realistic. So the first principle or method of achieving depth in your drawing is called overlapping. So if you take a look at this picture here, the three shapes are very similar in size and they're next to each other, not overlapping at all. And because of that, when you look at it, you can't really tell which one is closer to you uh, and which one is further away. There's, there's no depth in this picture. However, as soon as you start overlapping the different shapes, uh, the Draw the picture begin to gain an immediate sense of depth. You can tell right away which one is further away from you, which one is closer, and it makes the drawing much more interesting just by overlapping the objects. So the next principle of achieving depth is called placement of objects. And it basically says that when an object is placed lower on a page, it will appear closer to us than if the object is placed higher up on the page. So if you take a look at this drawing, even though it may not jump out at you immediately, if you just stare at it, if you just stare at it for a while, you'll begin to see that the lower row looks as if it's protruding out closer to you than the square on top. And that's just the way our, our brains are conditioned. So you can use this fact uh, to help you plan your composition when creating a drawing or painting. So suppose I was just creating a simple scene here and I have um, a tree and I want it to add some depth and draw another tree that look as if it was further back from this tree. So I would just draw another tree and place it slightly higher and immediately to the viewer it would look as if this tree is further back. Now I kept the two trees uh, similar size to show that just by uh, different placement of the object you can achieve depth but if you in your actual drawing you would actually incorporate many uh, principles in one. So the next principle of depth has to do with manipulating the value and vividness of the color and it says that the darker and more vivid an object is, so like this square right here, the closer it will appear to us and the lighter and more faded and uh, non-detailed an object is, the further away it looks. In painting this principle is called aerial perspective or atmospheric perspective and uh, you can actually see it at work in this photograph right here. So this mountain here which is the closest to us look very dark and vivid and clear whereas as you move further and see this mountain it's much more faded the color aren't as clear and then as you move further away the color becomes even lighter and faded and the reason behind this effect is because of uh, the impurities that are in the air even though air looks like it's clear there's actually tiny uh, particles of impurity within it and that prevents us from seeing an object fully. When a light from an object tries to reach our eyes, it gets trapped by that impurity. And the more space is between us and that object, the more that light will get trapped by the impurity. So for example, in this, with this mountain that is closest to us, uh, the distance between us and the mountain is not as great, so the light is able to reach us um, for the most part, most of the light is able to reach us, so we're able to see it very clearly and vividly uh, with all the colors intact. But once you go further out, uh, for instance with this mountain here, now there's a lot more distance between us and hence the impurity is much thicker. So when the light tries to reach our eyes, it gets absorbed by all those tiny particles in the air like dust and uh, water vapor and things like that. And so only a fraction of light only a fraction of that light can reach our eyes so that's why we see it as much more faded and less detailed. So that's the theory behind uh, this effect and it's also the reason 
uh, Y is called atmospheric perspective or aerial perspective because it's due to the impurity in the atmosphere or the air that's causing us to see things this way. And uh, as, if you're a painter, you can use this principle to very uh, good effect by manipulating the paint and the detail to make it lighter as you um, want to go further out. Now the next principle has to do with size variation and it says that the bigger an object is the closer it appears to us and the smaller an object is the further away it seems. So if you look at this drawing the biggest box by far look as if uh, it is closer to you and as you go smaller and smaller it looks further away and here you can see all the different principles being applied at once we have uh, object placement so the one that is closer to us is placed lower on the page we have size variation so as it moves back the squares get smaller and also the color become faded and less vivid and then of course we also have overlap where the top square overlaps the subsequent ones so you can see how powerful these techniques can be when you use them in combination with each other and finally we have another method of achieving depth called linear perspective and that's when instead of using uh, manipulation of color or tone instead we use uh, strategically placed lines to create an illusion of depth so in this example we have a cube and by strategically placing these slanted lines here that seems to converge toward a vanishing point we create an illusion that this sphere is three-dimensional so I hope you enjoyed that lessons now if you like more great perspective drawing tutorials be sure to sign up for my free drawing newsletter at mydrawingtutorials.com forward slash perspective also, if you'd like to get a lot of really great in-depth knowledge about uh, perspective drawing, I highly recommend you check out my course, Perspective Made Simple. It's a video home study course that consists of over 38 individual lessons. And in it, I'll walk you through all the essential principles and methods of perspective drawing uh, from the very basic to the very advanced. Also, in the course, there's going to be a lot of step-by-step -step exercises uh, that's going to help you gradually increase your skill level and apply what you learn. And by the end of the course, you will have drawn your very first ultra-realistic perspective drawing. So it's a fantastic course whether you're a beginner or an intermediate artist who wants to learn more about perspective drawing. So if you'd like to check that course out, simply go to the URL on the screen or you can simply click on the link right below this video. Alright, so thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below to let me know what you think.